In the linked video, we took a closer look at cylindrical gears. In principle, the rotational axes of such cylindrical gears can only be arranged parallel to each other. By using bevel gears, the axes of rotation of the gear shafts can also be arranged at an angle to each other. An angle of 90 degrees is often used. A gearbox that uses bevel gears to transmit power is also called an angular gearbox. Due to its shape, the larger of the two bevel gears is also called ring gear. Note, however, that this ring gear has an external toothing. The ring gear itself is driven by a smaller bevel gear, also known as a pinion. In the case of bevel gears, the shape of the gears forms a cone, called a pitch cone, with the teeth arranged on the lateral surface. The imaginary pitch cones of two bevel gears roll onto each other without sliding. The circumferential speeds at the line of contact of the two bevel gears are therefore identical. The point of intersection of the two gear axes corresponds to the point where the tips of the imaginary pitch cones intersect. Like cylindrical gears, bevel gears can be further subdivided according to the shape of the teeth. If the teeth run in a straight line, which means in a radial direction to the axis of rotation of the gear, it is called a straight-cut bevel gear. However, such straight-cut toothing on bevel gears has the same disadvantage as on spur gears, namely a relatively high noise level. If the teeth do not run radially in a straight line but have the shape of a spiral, similar to the helix with helical gears, this is referred to as a spiral bevel gear. The shape of the spiral can be involute, cycloidal, or circular. Compared to straight-cut bevel gears, spiral bevel gears offer more favorable meshing, higher transmittable torques, lower noise levels, and higher assembly tolerances. For this reason, spiral bevel gears are preferably used in mechanical engineering. A special case of a bevel gear occurs when the angle of the pitch cone of the ring gear becomes larger and larger, and in the extreme case is 180 degrees. The height of the pitch cone becomes smaller and smaller, and in the extreme case has become a flat plane. Such a bevel gear is referred to as a planar gear. The gear meshing with the planar gear cannot be a cylindrical gear, but must be a conventional bevel gear, without which pure rolling on the pitch plane of the planar gear would not be possible, since the circumferential speed of the planar gear decreases toward the center. However, this also means that the axes of the planar gear and bevel gear cannot intersect at an angle of 90 degrees, as the pinion would then have to be a cylindrical gear. However, the pitch cylinder of a cylindrical gear has a constant circumferential speed and therefore cannot adapt to the different circumferential speeds of the planar gear. To do this, the tooth profile of the planar gear would have to be modified in radial direction. In this case, one speaks of a so-called crown gear. More on this in a moment. The planar gear for bevel gears can be considered analogous to the rack for cylindrical gears. In both cases, the originally curved pitch body has become flat. Just as the profile of the rack is used as a reference for designing a cylindrical gear, the planar gear is used as a reference for designing bevel gears. A special case of an angular gear is when a conventional spur gear is used as the pinion, which in principle meshes with a ring-shaped rack. This is known as a crown gear. The teeth of a crown gear can be straight cut or spiral. Unlike a bevel gear, the spur gear can be moved axially and there are no axial forces. Since the circumferential speed of the crown gear increases as the distance from the center increases, but the circumferential speed of the spur gear remains constant, the tooth profile of the crown gear must be modified in the radial direction to ensure that the pitch bodies roll on each other without sliding. In contrast to a planar gear, the gear axes with a crown gear can be arranged at right angles to each other. However, it should be noted that the crown gear is no longer a bevel gear in the true sense of the word, as the pitch body is not a cone.